Hello, everyone. Have you ever had to stay at home for several days without going out? It can happen to anyone, right? But for some people, this is a whole lifestyle. We are, of course, talking about hikikomori, which is a real problem in Japan. They voluntarily seclude themselves in their homes or apartments for weeks, months, or even years. Usually, hikikomori let themselves go. They don't shower and live in messy rooms. They sometimes go outside, but only to buy food or something like that. But they usually prefer ordering food, clothes, and medicines. Hikikomori don't want to work, study, talk to other people, or anything for that matter. Their problems are mostly the same. They were bullied by others. They have problems talking to the people they like. They were scared of being adults. And in the end, they decided to close themselves at home, away from all problems. They feel better that way. Usually this happens after school, when teenagers start thinking about their future. Hikiko Mori first appeared in Japan at the turn of the 21st century. Some people believe that this might have been caused by stress, a very common problem in Japan. After school, Japanese people usually have to find a job, get married, and start having children. Moreover, they have almost no weekends or holidays, and instead, they have to work. As you see, such life is not for everyone. That's why many people tried to escape from it. According to the latest numbers, there are more than 700,000 hikikomori in Japan, and another 1.5 million will soon become like them. Some of them have been at home for over 20 years. Mostly, they live thanks to their parents' or relatives' money, but some live thanks to unemployment pay. Usually, their families leave them alone and don't care about their way of life, but sometimes parents or relatives try to find a solution for this problem. For example, they hire people to break into their rooms and force hikikomori to go out. But more often than not, such stories end tragically. But everything changed when psychologist Tamaki Saito started investigating this problem. He discovered that hikikomori usually suffer from depression and schizophrenia, which means they need proper therapy. Over the years, different methods to treat this problem have appeared. For example, a special support service sends friendly girls to the recluse's homes and start bonding with them. This helps them in their isolation. Nevertheless, oh. there are more and more hikikomori each year, and sometimes it becomes a serious problem. For example, oh. a hikikomori once attacked several people on a bus with a knife. And in another case, the police found a missing girl in the house of a hikikomori. It turned out that she had been kidnapped several years back. Such people can be found all over the world, including the US, but there aren't many of them. It is a different society, and usually your parents make you go to school or work. There are several types of hikikomori out there. True hikikomori. They love PC games, anime, and online forums. They are usually over 30 and live thanks to their parents' money or by leasing an apartment that they inherited. Psychological hikikomori. These are sociophobes or autistic people, which don't like talking to people and are fine with that. No lifers. These are basically losers who want to have friends, but no one wants to talk to them. That's the main reason why they isolate themselves. Trolls. Hikikomoris that like to leave mean comments on the internet. Posers. These are people who state they are hikikomori, but actually aren't. This problem isn't very serious outside Japan, but COVID-19 has turned most of us into hikikomori, although not by choice. What do you think? Tell us in the comments how you're coping with the quarantine. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. This was True Story. See you next week.